first you need to define the title of the project then you can put over here then uh, the bachelor of technology in respective program let us say suppose if you are uh, doing your btech in mechanical engineering then you write you need to write mechanical engineering then name of the university and the project performed by the students name roll number and the university roll number suppose if you are performing project in a group then all the na name of the name of all the group member will be over here then under the guidance under the guidance that means your name of your guide and then department name of the department on which you are submitting your project then name of the college and here it will be academic year the pass out year next certificate certificate this will provide by the guide so you need to write the certi certificate in this form uh, forma the title then uh, program name and name of the students with roll number and the guide name and hod head of the department so your uh, guide will sign over here and head of the department will sign over here next declaration declaration by the students who are performing the project title need to put over here and the signature this will uh, guide this will this is saying that uh, this project is fully done by these students and there is no plagiarism or there is no um, copy paste from the previously published or previously worked project next certificate from the approval this will be provided by the your examiner so there is a list of examiner who will examine your thesis or your project so they will certify that um, the title of this project and uh, performed by these these students under guidance of this uh, has been uh, fully uh, satisfied the criteria of your university and they will provide the marks based on this recommendation next acknowledgement and declaration the students who are performing the project they can acknowledge their guide they can acknowledge their laboratory on which they are working or some external or internal uh, um, uh, uh, laboratory also and uh, from whom they have um, got the uh, inspiration or motivation to perform this work maybe their um, family or parents or whatever they want to acknowledge next abstract in abstract uh, you need to uh, add some points or you need to uh, define some uh, um, points in uh, maximum 100 or 300 uh, words it will basically it will be it will give you the uh, what are the project for um, uh, problem formulation what are the methods that you have used to solve this problem and what are the key findings and what is the application of this uh, uh, work next keywords some five or six keywords uh, you, you can define next uh, it will be uh, nomenclature what about the symbol that you have used inside your thesis or project that you can keep over here for example i have given some things next list of figure list of figure you can see that uh, whatever the figure you have uh, pasted in your inside the your uh, paper inside your thesis that you can uh, list in in this in this location you can see that uh, figure number 1.1 and the caption of the figure and page number on where you can find this figure so 1.1 refers that it's chapter 1 figure number 1 Similarly, 1.2, it's chapter 1, figure 2. So, you can find in chapter 1, figure number 2 is this one. So, similarly, you can keep on increasing uh, the figure that you have used. Suppose, if you have pasted in a figure at chapter 2, in the first figure, it will be 2.1, like that. Next, list of table. Similarly, the list of table, that means whatever the table uh, you have used uh, inside your thesis that you can you can uh, um, keep over here the table number caption of the table and then page number table number means uh, 3.1 means is uh, chapter 3 table number 1 next contents you can see that the first uh, few things like uh, up to list of figure this has been written in roman and your actual page number starts from 1 to 30 from the int your chapter 1 that is introduction so, uh, before introduction, it, the num page number it will be 
in Roman and after introduction it will be page number in normal number numeric digit. So, chapter 1 it basically uh, provides you the introduction. In introduction phase you need to define what are the things uh, that you you want to highlight uh, um, based on your project and so what are the uh, main objective and from the main motivation from where you got this idea or what are the uh, published paper uh, from where you have taken and what are the lacuna that you have find the already published paper from that encourages you to take this to undertake this uh, pro project and then in the last you need to add some organization of the thesis that means in which chapter uh, what are the things you have described you are you are going to describe like chapter 2 you want to describe theoretical formulas and chapter 3 you want uh, you want to add result discussion chapter 4 conclusion like that next the chapter 2 chapter 2 is the theoretical formulas or experimental setup based on your requirement you can um, do if it is a numerical analysis then your theoretical formulation will be there and if it is your numerical and experimental both then you can add both the organization of this it will be uh, such a way that it should be a very clear and lucid to the reader the relevant theoretical aspect or theoretical formulation you can add some theoretical equation minded that theoretical equation should be a number suppose if you are adding uh, some theory uh, some equation in chapter 2 then first theory uh, first equation it will be 2.1 like that it will be increasing 2.2 2.3 okay and uh, some experimental setup you uh, are going to describe based on your requirement and simulation uh, if you are doing then you need to uh, describe all those things in proper way and um, some um, uh, conclusion based on the uh, your theoretical formulation and experimental setup you can provide. Next chapter 3. In chapter 3 whatever the uh, analysis that you have performed in uh, based on your analysis and uh, uh, theoretical uh, based on your analytical results or experimental results that you can describe or you can uh, um, discuss in this chapter in, in a point wise manner. Suppose if you are describing in uh, um, chapter 3 and you want to put uh, some figure and some table, uh, then you need to um, define those tables and uh, those figures in 3.1, 3.2 uh, like this way. Next conclusion, based on your findings and result discussion, you can add uh, conclusion, whatever the key findings that you have got from your analysis or your experiment and also some future scope of work that you have not been able to perform but still this can be uh, extended as a part of this project based on this present work. Next references, and references we generally prefer in Vancouver style. I will show you what is Vancouver style then bibliography and appendix. So first chapter 1, chapter 1 is introduction. In introduction it will be general introduction 1.1 and then 1.1.1 then 1.2, 1.3 like this it will keep on increasing. Chapter 2 that is theoretical formulation is 1 point it, it will start 2.1 because chapter 2. So, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4 like that whatever whatever uh, the sub division you need you can add up. Next chapter 3. In chapter 3 uh, you need to define the name of the chapter like for example, I am defining pre vibration analysis of composite plate. So, based on your requirement you can define chapter 3 and then it will start 3.1, 3.2 like that it will go. Next chapter 4 result and discussion based on your technical findings on the experimental or theoretical uh, uh, analysis you can uh, discuss uh, the results uh, in this chapter and it will be a format will be 4.1, 4.2, 4.3 like this. Next conclusion. So, based on result discussion and based on your findings the key conclusion you can put in this chapter. First you need to provide introduction and then the conclusion based on your um, analysis data, conclusion based on your experimental data or general conclusion and at the end of this chapter you need to provide the future scope of the work that means whatever the work that you have not been able to perform and can be extended based on this project. 
Next references. References you need to provide in references in this manner. Okay. And generally this is Vancouver style. I will show you what is uh, Vancouver style and how you can get this Vancouver style uh, from the Google Scholar. You need not to type all those things, only you need to have the name of the paper uh, or the DOI uh, number, DOI digital object identifier number, then you can get. Suppose I am name of this paper is this one and the, this paper has been written by these and these, these, these authors and name of this paper is this one. So, I, I need to copy the name of the paper. I, need, I, can, I can come into the Google Scholar site. Okay. I need to paste and I search. You will see that this paper has came and you can click on, on the icon site and you can see that there are, there are several format available. Generally, we prefer Vancouver style. So, you copy this one, control C and you paste over here. Okay. Now, how to cite this reference inside your thesis that I will show you. Let us say in the chapter 1, I have written advanced material and in third bracket we have written 1. That means, the advanced material uh, the reference 1 will say you about this thing. So, reference 1 is this, reference 1 is this one. So, this way you have to uh, cite the reference inside your thesis. So, like that uh, the citation it will keep on increasing number 1, 2, 3 and uh, accordingly the reference will increase in number uh, as per the number. Uh, minded that uh, it should be in uh, proper order. That means, uh, if you are uh, writing uh, number 1, uh, let us say if you are writing number 1 uh, over here and then suppose in the next uh, uh, number 2 you are writing then this uh, uh, paper needs to be put in the reference number 2 and you can cannot key, uh, jump the number like number 1 and number uh, number 3 uh, you are putting over here and then next uh, you are putting number 2 that is not allowed. So, let us say some uh, some something you are writing and you are uh, putting number uh, 2. So, this is uh, this is not allowed and this is uh, not the proper way to write you need to follow the proper uh, sequence. Okay. So, I hope that uh, uh, this video uh, you have uh, got some idea how to write uh, the fourth year engineering project and what are the formats for writing and what are the different styles of uh, writing this project and what are the key things that must be there inside the um, inside your thesis.